Hi everyone, it's Rhea here, and today I have with me Shreyas Kasiap. Now Shreyas actually has a fantastic story. He went from solving 30 gold level problems in three weeks to solving 110 platinum level problems in three weeks. So yeah, thanks for taking the time to be here, Shreyas. Uh, yeah, no problem. So when did you first get started with Yusuko? All right, so um, I first like got started with Yusuko, but like more generally like uh, like programming around two years ago um, when like one of my friends introduced me to Yusuko. And so I just started learning like the basics of C++ and I took my first bronze contest about two or three months later. And yeah, that's how I got started. So what bronze contest was that? The December, January? Yeah, it was December, I think 2018. So when you were in ninth grade? In eighth grade. December in eighth grade, all right, awesome. And then when did you do your silver contest? So, um, yeah, so uh, I wasn't able to pass the first December contest because I was still, like, beginning. But um, I got 1,000 on the January contest, and and I got, like, 750 on the open in silver. Wait, so you got a... Okay, so you did pass bronze in December, you said? No, I, I passed bronze in January. Okay, so you in contest promoted to bronze in January? To silver in January, yeah. Or from bronze to silver. Yeah. And then you passed silver in the U.S. Open? Yeah. Awesome. And how did you study for silver at that time? Uh, so, like, I kind of just, like, looked up, like, many problems from Yusuko, um, like, uh, that are already, like, previous years for silver. And, like, I kind of picked up on, like, the, like, the basics of basics, like, DFS and stuff. And I just got really lucky that, like, the topics I studied were the ones that were asked in that contest. Like, I remember for one of the, pro like, I was about 30 points away. And in the last five minutes, like, I wrote something that shouldn't have worked and it passed. And that's how I got promoted. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Um, so then you're in gold by the end of your eighth grade. Right, right. And so what was your goals from there? Were you trying to make platinum camp or? Yeah, so I, I, I was trying to make uh, platinum. Like, that seemed like the next step to go to. But, I mean, I, I didn't really put in much time or like like I wanted to but I didn't know how to work on getting to platinum interesting so you you're really motivated that's how you were able to go from bronze to gold super fast but right. when you were studying for gold you didn't know what to do when to study so yeah exactly like things like like Dijkstra and stuff it just seemed really foreign to me and I got, it was really hard for me to learn that's all right that's a <laughs> yeah. unfortunate um so then you kept i guess kind of working on gold for two more years um wait now the timeline doesn't seem to fit wait maybe it was ninth grade that i did bronze yeah it was sorry it was ninth grade okay so we shift everything up by one year yeah okay <laughs> so you then we're working on gold for not two years only one year yeah just for one year Okay, so you were working on goals for a whole year, and how were your goal scores that year? Uh, so yeah, that was this year, and my goal scores were like okay. I was getting around like, like three hundred to four hundred on every contest, um, and like yeah, I was I was getting about like one problem each time, and I was getting close in the second one, but I like never really got there. And what were the common things you were missing on the problems you weren't getting? Um, so like. So my preparation for gold, like, it pretty much involved, like, doing basics of, like, DP, some graph stuff. But, like, uh, like when there, when there came, like, some unorthodox DP problem or, like, some, like, weird graph problem, I just, like, I just really struggled and, like, uh, broke down. So that was the main problem. I see. But you were able to get one of the three. You just couldn't get Yeah. Yeah. Further. All right. And what sort of things did you try to do to get the second and third problem at the time? Uh, like in the contest? Yeah, in contest and in pre preparation and everything. So in contest, like what I really try to do is like, I, I was pretty confident in my ability to get one out of three. So I, I like really like try to go, like go hard at the first problem and get like one out of three. And I just try to spend the rest of the three hours on trying to figure out like how to get another one of the problems. And um, so in my preparation, I, I can say that I didn't prepare the best because my main preparation was just taking uh, previous gold problems, but like uh, those problems got like used up very quickly. And especially since I didn't know a lot of like gold topics when I tried to do them, 
like it was kind of practicing like from problems I'd already seen the answers to. So it wasn't as effective. Mm, I see. So I think around that time you sort of reached out to me and then I was full, but then you reached out a month later again when I had more spaces. So like where did you find Where did I find you? Yeah. Um, okay, so 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 after um this was after uh gold open and like uh like in, in the open contest, I got like probably like I got really close to getting to platinum. So then I kind of decided like, especially with the pandemic, like like uh, Yusuko is probably like something I can put a lot more time into. So I, I started like working on uh, getting to like platinum camp. And I was actually looking up a video on, uh, I think it was segment trees or like heavy light decomposition or something. Um, and then like your video was the first one that popped up. And then like... And then I just found the site and it was really nice. So then why did you reach out to me? Well, because, um, I mean, I saw the testimonials, but also like, like I, I saw like maybe one other lesson on like hashing or something and like some like problem explanations. And I thought it was like really, really like instructive. And I thought like I, I could get a lot of help from this. All right. That's, that's fantastic. That's what I try to do. Help people with the free resources too. And I also yeah. have students, but hopefully the free resources can also like I've had campers who are not my students tell me that some of the free resources help them too. Right, yeah, the free resources. Phenomenal. Yeah, so then you reach out to me, um, and why did you end up signing up with me? Um, I mean, I I just like, well, so another thing in my preparation is like, like let's say I I know I'm weak on like DP, I go and do some like DP problems, like whether it's from the free resources you had or like something on Code Forces, but like I told you, um, like if I know that I'm practicing DP, it takes away like a huge observation of the problem because like, I already know it's going to be DP. I just need to like figure out the finer details, but like in contest, I don't really know exactly what it's going to be. And, and then I get stuck. So like when you uh, kind of told me your like strategy for like how to improve, it seemed like very like interesting to me because I never tried it before. So I wanted to see how it worked and it worked great. And what was that strategy? So uh, basically like, uh, the way you give problems is not uh, like, uh, like what's it called, topic by topic. It's more of like, like by level. So like, you're you're kind of like practicing like a like ha- like a problem like how you do it in a contest, and then like you're coding it and then like learning from the solution if you need to. But you're also able to like take away like important like themes about each problem. Yeah, and problem solving skills is yeah the themes that come out of it. Um, yeah, especially too in platinum, there's a lot of dual topics. Like there might be both graphs and DP in a problem, so it's kind of hard to just pick one to to practice too. Um, okay, so then we started working together, and you just like hit the ground running. We're doing like five, six problems a day, and we covered like 110 problems yeah. in three weeks. So, what caused the increase from 30 to 110? So, uh. So yeah, so I, that's the one. The first thing is like as I told you, uh, like the psychological barrier. Like I'd always been like very cautious to like try platinum because, um, like I was not very confident in my gold skills, and then like I never tried platinum because I I, I assumed I would never get it. Um, and also like my practice was very like unorganized. I never know like I never knew if I was like if I chose a problem that was harder and I solved it, or if that problem was easier. Um, like. If I didn't solve a problem and I read the solution, I wasn't always getting the most out of the solution. Um, it was very hard to like, it was very hard for me to feel like I was improving, I guess. Um, and like the organization itself was just absolutely terrible. So um, like when I was getting like these five or six problems a day, like it, it, it felt more of like, instead of just like doing as many problems as I could in a day and then not getting as much out of it, it felt more of like, here's your five problems to focus on for the day. If you get it, you're going to get something like good value out of it. And then like that, like psychology helped me get through the problems, I guess. That's great to hear. Yeah. And yeah, I know that like when you took the US Open contest, you were also didn't get all three gold ones. So that also might affect the psychological barrier. But now you're able to get some platinum problems without the editorial, which yeah. is. So how does that feel now that you're getting platinum problems on your own? Like, uh, so when, when we first started problems, I kind of assumed like, they'd be like some sort of like old, old gold kind of like easier plot. But then like in the first week you gave me uh, like this platform from like 2018. 
Um, and I, I got pretty excited and then like I solved it without the editorial and I was like, okay, that's actually really good. Like I'm making progress in the first week. So I think that was nice. Yeah. I mean, if you're doing five, six problems a day, then within a first week, that's like, you know, what's it, like 60 problems in six days, kind of ish. No, 30, not 60. <laughs> 30, 30. Yeah, 30. Um, and that's like what you've been doing in three weeks. So yeah, obviously. And also like working on problem solving skills instead of just uh, reading the solution. And yeah, so you were saying, kind of going back to like when you were saying you weren't getting as much out of the editorials before, what kind of caused that? So uh, yeah, when it comes to Usico, like Usico doesn't always have the best editorials. And also like something you told me is like, uh, like the, the solutions they present are not always like the, like the like the most intuitive ones. It's kind of like, contrived I guess like yeah. uh, if, if a problem can be solved with like something like something easy they'll, they'll like present some like very hard solution that works and it was kind of going right over my head and uh like code force editorials like a lot of the time they're like written in Russian and then converted to English so I'm assuming like there is something lost in translation and I just wasn't understanding okay so now what do you do to get more out of every problem that you're unable to get by yourself Right. So like uh, now, um, if I'm not able to get a problem, I'm like, I'm sitting on the problem for longer in terms of like trying to think and like I'm making more observations as I go. Like before when I was doing problems, like in contest, I would look at a problem for about like 15 minutes. And I'd make a ton of observations. And if I got the solution, I'd go code it. If not, I'd sit at my, like sit with a pen and paper for another like hour and a half and just stare at it. Like I wasn't making anything. But like now after like 15 minutes, I'm still able to like make some observations and then solve problems, which is, um, which is good. But if I'm not able to actually solve the problem, like if I read um, a solution, I'm tending to get more out of it. But even if I don't get as much, I, I have the opportunity to like ask you or go to a Q&A call, which is very helpful. Yes, I kind of want to go back to, to when you were saying about um, making observations as you're going. So tell us a little more about that, like what caused you know, make continually making more observations even after the first 15, 20 minutes. Okay. Yeah, sure. So, um, like, so now if I spend like 90 minutes on a problem, there's a very high likelihood I'll get it. Um, like even if it's like pretty difficult plot, well, like, like respect it, like, but, um, like before in contest, like the reason I wasn't able to make more observations is because like, let's say my first intuition was DP and I made some observations about it, but there was something that doesn't work. I was like really hellbent on just like, trying to get it to work rather than trying maybe like oh make it like a graph problem or something so like now when i'm doing problems i'll try something for like maybe five ten minutes if if i don't see the solution um i'll move on and I, i'll be confident that it's not like dp because like my problem solving ability is getting better but okay. whereas in contest if i if i find a dp solution that kind of works i i'm not like i don't have the confidence to say that DP is not the intended solution. I see. And you're saying that your problem solving ability is getting better. What makes you say that? Um, so I guess it's just like, like, I mean, one thing is because I'm solving harder problems, but I, it's also just because like, uh, like, like the, the problems that I'm getting exposed to is like stuff that I know, like, like, for example, if I was doing like random problems, I don't know if it's like, a seg tree or something like I just don't know and then I'm and then I'm going to be in trouble because like there's no way I'm solving this problem but this problem I'm getting is like I know for sure that I have the ability to solve it and then like when I sit for longer I I'm like trying all the possibility and solving it yeah for sure and we'll do seg tree soon it's just yeah right now we're doing problem solving skills so yeah what are some of the problem solving skills that we've gone over that sort of helped you huh. yeah so like one of the major ones is breaking the problem down because in contest, I would just go for the, like the AC and like, it's not always optimal. Like if you break a problem down or simplify it, it can like really, really help. Um, and another one maybe is just like, like trying to come up with like a sl slow solution and like figure out ways, if, like if you can make it better. Um, yeah, those are like two of the like main things that I've taken away. Yeah. I mean, breaking the problem down and then solving the simplified one and then bringing it back up to the AC solution. It is hard to get the hang of, but once we get the hang of it, it's like, yeah, super helpful. Mm -hmm. um, all right, cool. So how do you feel about your 
or how how do you feel about Yusuko now and how do you think you're gonna do in this year's contest? Um like I don't wanna say anything premature because like I'm just like really hoping I do well, but I I think I'm definitely more confident. Um because I I mean I'm I'm solving more problems. Uh and that I mean like it just helps psychologically, I guess. Um so I, I think I'll do pretty good, I hope. Yeah, I mean the confidence rightfully so if you're getting platinum problems. Right. That definitely justifies having a higher confidence then. Yeah. All right, cool. If there's is there are there any comments you have? If there's like a gold platinum level student out there wondering how to improve, how to get better. Mm-hmm. Um so, it, I mean, like, definitely if you want, like, you should take a read course if you have time. Um, but, <laughs> like, if, if you're trying to just practice by yourself, I guess, uh, like, my, my, main, my main tip would maybe just to, like, create some, like, organized way to study. Uh, but, like, but, like, try to create, like, a randomized set of problems that you, you solve from. So you're at least getting, like, exposed to how a contest would feel like. Awesome. Yeah, and... Definitely, I do have a minimum time requirement, but it is not 100 problems in three weeks as a time requirement. Yeah. For sure. And so, yeah, you said that the organized way of study definitely helped you bump up your problem-solving numbers. Um, what about did not being stuck as often? Do you think that helped you? Oh, uh, like what do you mean? Like getting unstuck on problems when you got stuck. Uh, yeah, so that, yeah, that also helped me a lot. Um, like that's also another psycho- psychological thing, like, uh, like knowing that maybe the solution like won't bear any fruit and I can try something else. That's like something that like some like something that I think comes from experience, which I've gained over the three weeks, which is just really great. Um, but like, yeah, I think that's just another great thing. Awesome. And like, what are the different topics that we've gone over that you think there are some that you have like not heard of before that you found useful? Oh yeah, for sure. So like uh, merge small to large, for example, it's, like, it was really great. Like, I was trying to learn heavy, heavy light decomposition for, like, so long. And then you showed me Merge Smart to Large, and it was so concise. And I was like, I, I should not have been wasting that much time. Um, things like, we've done, like, a union find, which I, like, I've been, like, kind of struggling to get. Like, took me, like, a day. Um, nice. Like, yeah, just, like, things like that are just, like, oh, we also learned, like, LCA in, like, a day, which is just great. Like. So things like that are like really, really nice. Yeah. And for heavy light, if you are super interested, I do have a video on it that you <laughs> skipped through. <laughs> yeah. So uh, like in terms of heavy light, like I saw, like I got an email today from like Google Code Jam, like the finals were pr- like published. And then the first problem it turns out was actually like heavy light decomposition. And then I was like, wait a second, I can just try merge small to large on this. And it was like, it was pretty nice. So. Yeah, that, that's, I mean, it's great. That's fantastic. Yeah, yeah, I don't think heavy light is actually needed because all those problems can be, or the vast, vast majority, like, okay, of all the heavy light ones I've seen on Yusuko, they could all be solved by more small to large, for <laughs> sure. At yeah. The question um, yeah, okay, is there any last comments, tips, advice you have for anyone listening? Um, I mean, like, I guess just, like, just stay motivated, um, like, even if you're not able to solve things, like, don't lose hope. Uh, like, I guess, yeah, never lose, like, hope. Always, like, just believe in yourself, I guess. And, yeah, just stay organized. And if you practice, it'll it'll definitely show up. Fantastic. Um, yeah, thanks for taking the time to talk to everyone, Trace. Yeah, no problem. Bye. Bye-bye.